What is going on my fellow floppers and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video guys we're going to be having a look what I believe to be the best assault rifle in the Modern Warfare 3 beta so far and probably the most strongest weapon between this and an alternative weapon which would be the striker. We are going to be looking at the MCW which is a very powerful assault rifle and very good as a bit of an SMG as well to run and gun so it's a very good weapon all around. So far this weekend guys you know we've had three maps that we can go ahead and play a multiplayer. We've had all the beta rewards uh, that would be the announced what we can go ahead and use and unlock uh, so, so when you get to like level 30 you get an operator skin which looks a bit like a mannequin i have made previous videos on the rewards and um, so you definitely want to go ahead and check them out also guys if you are new around here and if you haven't already make sure you do subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications and drop a like on today's video that would be very much appreciated as this is the best place for all call of duty news tips tricks and all that good stuff but anyway let's jump into it let's have a little look at this class setup so first of all then guys like i said we are going to be using the mcw but just to quickly low down on everything else what we are rocking so we are using the Renetti the best handgun in the game it's three round burst and it's just a great idea to have that as a secondary to pull out and finish kills off especially if you are running out on ammo so tactical guys I am going to be using battle rage which has actually been nerfed which is good that sledgehammer games are listening to the community because you'd run this it lasts for 10 seconds and every time you got a kill it'd restart and you basically couldn't die with it it will pretty much god mode once you had battle rage um, but it's still very useful tactical to go ahead and use currently and then i'm using the semtex as the lethal prefer the semtex to the frag uh, you do have a few other options on there you do have the breacher drone which is pretty cool to use if you haven't seen that it's just a little drone that you throw and it just glides into the enemy and blows up and then you have the old thermo grenade as well there and so the field equipment in all honesty there's a few good options there um but i do prefer having the mutations box of course you could use trophy system there's a lot of flashbangs and stuff that gets thrown uh, these are com scrambler uh, basically all this does is it scrambles UAVs, systems, maps etc in a small radius uh, so you are protected and then there is the ACS which is an automated computer spike slowly captures points and temporarily hacks uh, nearby enemy devices so like I said the mutations box is key because you do run out of ammo pretty quickly especially when you are on those long gun streaks so for the perks I'm using is scavenger gloves so obviously we can get ammo from dead players because we want to make sure we're getting as much ammo as we possibly can as uh, stalker boots it just literally pretty awesome increases your strafe and your ads movement speeds which is definitely what you want especially when you are using an assault rifle i up in close quarters and then lastly guys we are using tat mass just so then it reduces any strength of the flash stuns gas grenades etc but i've noticed it's a little bit buggy this sometimes with a flash it still seems to be on flash forever uh, like you normally would be if you didn't have the task mask on so then let's actually jump into the weapon so we are going to be using the mcw absolutely fantastic weapon now you can slightly change this it is personal preference on two of the attachments which you'll soon find out but if we head over and start with the muzzle uh, I do like to rock the the Humra's mod suppressor uh, it does actually increase your bullet velocity and it does make you undetectable on the radar now you do pop up as a red dot when you are shooting on the map so suppressors are going to be massive in this call of duty for the barrel we are going to be rocking the 16.5 MCW cyclone long barrel that is a mouthful guys um, but yeah we are using the 16.5 5 long barrel uh, this does increase your bullet velocity and range aiming idle sway and firing aim stability however it does decrease your attack stance spread and your hip fire spread and aim walking speed out of all the other ones that we have unlocked to be honest that's the first one you do unlock on the barrels and it probably is one of the better ones you can use the only alternative uh, for that would probably be the KR midnight 13 if you do unlock it I think that would be a very good one or you could go ahead and use the integral suppression which like I said it's a built-in suppressor but it does reduce your bullet velocity and range but you do need to get your weapon maxed out which I haven't yet done so this class setup is pretty good for you guys that are first starting out and you've only got your you know your first few levels on the weapon and um, so now this is where it's an option because you can either use an optic sight if you would prefer or you can use the 40 round mag now I prefer the 40 round mag because when you are getting in those longer gunfights or if you're running around and you know you're not going to get a chance to reload at least you've got plenty of cushion on a, your magazine with the amount of rounds that's in there um it does decrease your movement speed ads reload quickness and sprint to fire but obviously it hardly reduces it especially once you've got all these other attachments on you really can't feel the difference and it does feel like a little laser beam once you get shooting with this weapon so then we are going to be using a rear grip so the rear grip we are going to be rocking is the rb talon x3 grip this increases your fire aim stability gun kick control and recoil control it pretty much takes all the recoil out of the weapon just by using this grip i've 
notice that it feels more like a laser beam and you can run and gun a lot easier and um, your yeah, aiming idle sway is uh, reduced a little bit and then we're going to head over to this stock now there's only one stock that i really would want to use i looked at them all over but there's just too many cons to the positives on most of them anyway uh, but i feel like the first one you unlock is the best one they'll answer tactical stock um so what that does it increases your hip fire and tax stand spread ads speed sprint to fire speed but it does reduce your kick control firing aim stability and recoil control but all in all it does create a well round balance now of course like i say it is optional if you want to have the 40 round mag or the optic sight i prefer having the 40 round mag one it gives me additional ammo and two we've counteracted any of those problems with his other attachments that we've got on the weapon but like i say it's just a quick video on what i am rocking for you guys to have a little look at if you are enjoying the beta so far this weekend drop a like let me know um if you've maxed out level to level 20 don't forget next weekend if you get to level 30 you will then get the free rewards uh, of the operator skin now i don't know if it's an actual operator or if it's just gonna be a skin to one of the existing operators but i guess we'll find that out next weekend also we have got rust out now guys from today so if you haven't already realized you know rust is just one of my all-time favorite maps anyway uh, so you guys can go ahead and play that today and then next weekend we do actually go ahead and get high rise as well so we can go ahead and play high rise which is probably one of the all-time most popular popular maps also so far with all the uh, maps that are out how are people finding estate because if i remember rightly i hated that map back in the day anyway um it does play really nice and it does look really good with all the new graphics and the regen of the map but it's still a bad map not many people want to play it it's either the skipping it or the backing out if that map comes up but let me you know let me know down below how you guys are finding estate but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you guys on the next video